Okay, let's take a look at the intro. Here's the intro very, very slow. song starts. So he starts with this riff, basically very simple, but he tends to bend the D string a little bit at the end, <laughs> which is kind of weird. Then onto the F sharp 7, which normally you would play like this, right? Which Hendrix rarely ever does. It's all the thumb, index, and I use the ring finger on the G string, so it's near the fret. It just sounds a bit different from a, a regular F sharp seven, where you, where you have all the six strings. Here, you only hear three. And the other strings, you mute as a certain sound. So it's... Then slide up. Notice this loose E string and then the thumb. So it's. And then repeat. And then we have a little lick towards the end. Now, interesting, interestingly enough, Hendrix plays a different lick each and every time when you listen to the outtakes. On the record, we hear something like this, which is actually very easy. But other times he plays something like... Lots of things you can play. Let's stick with what we hear on the record. Slow. Start on te up tempo. And then we start with the verse. The verse, you can hear very clearly, this song is very much soul Motown inspired. Yeah, the song basically is something like this. Do It's very much a soul song. But the interesting thing about Hendrix is once the song and the whole production is finished, it doesn't sound like a soul song at all. It sounds like soul in outer space. It sounds like Jimi Hendrix. Let's take a look at the chords. He starts with a C sharp nine. The pinky finger pressing down the two top strings. And if the index finger is a little bit muted, that's okay. It doesn't really matter. Here again, we have the F, F sharp seven, but unlike the intro, where we only have to hear three strings, the one we actually press down. Here it's nice, we also hear the top strings, so you have to do a little bar. Slide up. And back. Very quick little power chord in between there. So it's those are the chords. Now the rhythm, the right hand, is a different matter altogether. If it's difficult, the basic thing is to do something like this. And that doesn't sound like Hendrix yet, because of course the left hand needs to do some work as well. We need to press the strings and also release. It's press, release, press, press, release. That makes... And finally add an up strum, up, and then we have... That 
that's it. I love this variation towards the end here. You have to be quick with your B power chord. Let's continue. Just slide up the C sharp 9 all the way up to the D sharp 9. Again, this B power chord. Here a bit of more strumming. One down, F sharp. And whenever you have something like this and you're playing a Jimi Hendrix song, you can choose to do this. That's always nice, isn't it? Basically just a slide. First press down the index finger and then go on to the power chord. Or you can do it at once. What do you prefer? Oh, he could have done easily just the A chord. But he plays this beautiful open sort of A chord, 9, whatever it is. Just slide back. Here's where he often does something like this. I'll try to do that. It's just simply G string hammer on pull off, also playing the open strings. And back to the root note. And that's the verse. Here's the verse very slow. Repeat. Onto the bridge. Bridge, fairly simple. It's just the G sharp 7. Back and forth to the F sharp 7. If you have something like that, you might want to add uh, a lick or embellishment, otherwise, it's a little bit boring. And Hendrix tends to play embellishments and licks all over the place. Now, what can you do here? Yeah, that's always <laughs> a stock default Hendrix lick. When you play it, I'll always play the accent. Here. It really needs to pop out. You can add the pinky finger. Yeah. That's another one. Go over. Slide and play this little double stop. Be very careful, you see my index finger muting the B string because we don't want to hear that. Otherwise, terrible. So, finally, move on. And the guitar solo starts. I only played the rhythm guitar part at the beginning of the video, but we can take a quick look at the guitar solo. He plays something like... Uh... That's how he starts. And then the song modulates to a different key, key of D sharp, and he plays something like... slow and then he just improvises his own thing very fast guitar playing you have to come up with something yourself and then he ends with
Basically, we then hear the song, the verse, just like before, but everything two frets up. <laughs> I play all these embellishments and improvisations and the trick is I know what to do when I have this chord here I have a couple of default things I have in the back of my mind so if I have to play something like this I can either do this or even that always works slide index finger slide to the chord. Same here, if I know I'm gonna play this A sharp 7 here, I've got this double stop, remember? So there are, basically I have this chord, I have five or six things I always know I can do. That's one. That's two. That's three. I can go on. Eh? So the trick is to have a chord like this and just to learn these improvisations and embellishments so you can pull them out of your head whenever you need to. we have an outro where it just stays on this G sharp 7 with an accent one fret up. And then it fades away. Those are the parts of the entire song. Let's play the intro and the verse. Here we go. <laughs> 